What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the perfect settings for OBS to get no lag and no freezing. So OBS is a free to download software and all you got to do is just go to the website obsproject.com which will be in the link in the description below and just download it from there. Now I'm going to show you guys what the perfect settings are so you can get good, just good videos and good quality. So we're going to go ahead and open this up right here. So as you can see, this is the settings, and you just go up to OBS on the top left. There's gonna be file settings, profiles. Just click settings, and then you'll be to this where I'm at right here. So it's pretty hard to do this because I am actually recording this with OBS. And yeah, so the first thing you see is general. Don't mind any of that. Just, just you know, just don't mind that. I mean, you can't. Ch if I think it's automatically checked to enable cursor over projector, it doesn't really matter. Now, encoding. Encoding is an important part. Now, do not use CBR. If you see CBR, just do not mark that. Just keep it, you know, unmarked. And then use this two, the 264 encoder. Um, use custom buffer size. And then put the buffer size to zero. It would help your videos a lot. Put the quality balance to 10. And to uh, lower the SBR. SB, and you didn't check the CBR, so then you can put the quality balance to 10. Put the max bit rate to whatever you want. Um, make it to high. If if you're getting lag, lower the bit rate. I don't know why I have it 100,000. It worked for me, so whatever. Now, uh, format, make it to four. I think it's automatic. I don't care. It, I mean, it's automatic. Whatever it says on your screen it is automatic, so just keep it there. Now, bit rate, make that to 112. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, let's go to the broadcast settings. Now, this is where you can put your file path, so it's just, you know, where you put your videos. Now, that doesn't actually really matter. Now, video depth matters. So, this is your video adapter, or this is mine, actually. Now, custom, this is the what, what my resolution is. It's 1080 pixels, so, yeah. Now, resolution downscale is what your video is going to look like. It's going to look, my videos look uh, 1280 by 720. So it's 720 pixels, which is uh, low HD, but it's still HD. And you can put whatever frames per second you want. On YouTube, you can put 30 frames per second to 60 frames per second. I'm not too sure if it's up, if it's you know more than 60, but I, I know you can put 60. Now, audio, that doesn't really matter. Um, hotkeys doesn't really matter. Advanced, this matters a lot. All right, so just pretty much do what I'm putting on the screen right here. Now, we're gonna go more into depth with this, so. Make sure you have your encoding pro, uh, profile to main and CPU present to ultra fast. That would help you a lot. Now, uh, keyframe to, I don't know if that's auto, but whatever. Now, do not use CFR, CFR on any of these. So, yeah. Now, you do custom t uh, encoder settings right here and write CRF equals either a number from 1 to 20 or 10, I think. But just in your case, if you have a really bad computer, try 5 or 10. If you have a really bad computer, like really, really bad, do 10. If you have a beast computer, do 2 to 1. And that pretty much just makes your computer, uh, it makes that's excellent quality if it's 2 to 1. So there you go. Now let me check that. Now, um, let's see. You have quick sync. Yes, I want to apply that. I don't really do anything. Um, this doesn't really matter. So that's pretty much it guys so that's the settings and this is a little video for you guys to get your settings up now a big thing that everyone keeps getting is like you you guys don't know so let me go ahead and move this now now if you guys didn't know how to start to record with this um there's like scenes and sources you guys can go look up another video on how to record this and then you're, you're gonna be able to do a game capture and once you do game capture and you add that into your sources you could double click on that and then you'll be into this little thing. So it selects what you're going to record on and that's it. Now, you, you might have a, a little black side, like there's black rows on the side of your uh, screen. So if you want to take that out, make image or make stretch image to screen and ignore aspect ratio. That's what the black stuff is. So it makes your whole screen be recorded. And yeah, that's how you do it. And I put my gamma a bit low because when it's the regular, it's just too bright. So yeah, that's the whole video, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As you see my desktop, if you guys want to see this video, I will put a link in the description below where you guys can see my previous videos. And you guys can also see this video in the outro. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Twitter, Instagram, links in the description below for more tutorials. Subscribe to Little Joey and don't forget to drop a like and comment on what you think on this video. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. I'm Little Joey. Peace.